The Daywalker returns with Mahershala Ali in the title role. So how will this new Blade carve out his spot in the MCU? Nice work. Compliments to your crew. And where did the Vampire Hunter make his comic book debut? A decade before Iron Man launched the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Wesley Snipes brought Marvel's Blade to the big screen for a trio of bloodbaths that broke ground for both R-rated comic book adaptations like Deadpool and Logan, as well as one starring black actors like Black Panther. But Blade's story goes all the way back to a 1970s Marvel comic book entitled The Tomb of Dracula, a 70-issue horror series about vampire-hunting descendants of Jonathan Harker and Van Helsing. In July 1973, issue number 10, Blade burst onto the scene as an ally in the fight against Dracula and in an outfit that he stole from James Brown. Let's talk about some music. Don't worry, James, we will. Writer Marv Wolfman and artist Gene Colan introduce Blade to the world, but it takes several years and series to fill in the backstory of Blade, aka Eric Brooks, the son of a prostitute who was killed by a vampire while she gave birth. Police found her in the street. Looks like she was bit by some kind of an animal. Blade inherited supernatural powers from the bite, but was immune to becoming a full-fledged bloodsucker. Later, jazz trumpeter slash vampire hunter Jamal Afari took Blade under his wing to teach him how to wield a knife and to carry a tune. This talent may appear in the new Blade film as Mahershala Ali learned to play piano to embody jazz virtuoso Don Shirley in his Oscar-winning role in Green Book. I mean, you only win when you maintain your dignity. Dignity always prevails. It was Ali who actually brought the idea of rebooting Blade to Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige, so it was fitting that they paired up to announce the film at San Diego Comic-Con's Hall H panel. Ali has a history with Marvel, but on the series side, where he played the Luke Cage season one big bad, Cottonmouth. Because everybody wants to be the king. Now, the canvas may be mostly blank on the new Blade movie, besides Ali's involvement and a likely Phase 5 release. But we have a feeling that we won't have to wait until 2022 to get a look at this new Daywalker, considering how Feige phrased this. We've seeded the supernatural through Doctor Strange and some of our other films, and now is the time. From 92 to 94, Doctor Strange assembled a trio of vampire hunters under the guise of detective agency King, Drake, and Blade in the comic book series Night Stalkers. The storyline was remixed for 2004's Blade Trinity, with Ryan Reynolds playing Hannibal King and not much else from the comic books, so it could definitely use a more faithful adaptation in the future. What's wrong with you? You think this is a joke? And that makes us believe that we'll see Blade in 2021's Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, since it's already being pitched as the MCU's first horror film. Vampires are a genre staple since the birth of cinema, and Marvel just loves to tease characters in after credit scenes. It's a bit of a long story. Less likely, but still a possibility given their comic book history, Blade could pop up in Sony's Marvel-adjacent Spider-Verse movie about Morbius that has Jared Leto attached to Star. Since it was the living vampire who bit Blade and gave him his enhanced Daywalker superpowers in the late 90s Peter Parker Spider-Man series. Just so you know, I'm the leader here. Right. Back at Comic-Con 2018, the Wu-Tang's RZA predicted the same on the IMD boat when professing his deep Marvel love while seated next to the original Blade himself, Wesley Snipes. Well, we got Jared Leto with Morbius. That means Blade is coming soon. Can it be all so simple? Whether RZA's right or wrong, we think somebody at Marvel might be listening to Bobby Digital's ideas since it was the same interview that he threw out this. I'm a big fan of Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu. If, if, if Marvel want to make that, hello? Coincidence? Either way, Mahershala Ali is bringing Blade back so you better protect your neck.